Hello, and welcome to GPSX Tutorial 11, Monte Carlo Analysis. The purpose of this tutorial is to develop a basic understanding of Monte Carlo Analysis in GPSX. Upon completion of this tutorial, you will be able to carry out Monte Carlo Analysis of model variables. In this tutorial, we will be exploring how dissolved oxygen in the tank reactor and free and ionized ammonia in the final effluent are affected by various alpha factors and autotrophic maximum specific growth rates. First, open a new GPSX layout and set the library to CN library. For this tutorial, our plant layout will consist of an influent, a CSTR, and a circular secondary clarifier. With our plant laid out, let's set up its operational parameters. First, let's configure the CSTR so that the oxygen transfer is controlled by entering airflow and not by a DO controller. To do this, right-click on the CSTR, select Input Parameters, Operational, and set the Specify Oxygen Transfer By to Entering Airflow. Once Entering Airflow has been selected, change the airflow into the aeration tank to 15,000 meters cubed per day. With the CSTR set up, let's change the wastage rate of the secondary clarifier to 70 meters cubed per day. Now that we have our operational parameters defined, let's see how this plant performs under winter conditions. To simulate cold winter conditions, set the liquid temperature of the plant to 10 degrees C. To do this, right-click on an empty space on the layout and select System, Input Parameters, Physical and set the liquid temperature to 10 degrees. Now that we have our layout created, save the layout and compile the model. With the model compiled, let's set up our input controls. For our first Monte Carlo analysis, we will be using the autotrophic maximum specific growth rate. The autotrophic maximum specific growth rate can be found by right-clicking on the CSTR and selecting Input Parameters, Kinetic. Now that we have the maximum specific growth rate on an input control tab, let's change its control type to Monte Carlo. To do this, open the Input Control Properties and change the control type from Slider to Analyze Monte Carlo. When Analyze Monte Carlo is selected, a button will appear to the right of the drop-down menu. Clicking on this button will open the Distribution Settings panel. From this panel, we can change the type of distribution, the mean, and standard deviation for our Monte Carlo analysis. For this tutorial, set the distribution to normal, the mean to 0.75, and the standard deviation to 0.1. Once the distribution has been set up, We'll make the minimum of our range 0.5 and the maximum of our range 1.2. To make it easier to change the number of runs in our Monte Carlo analysis, let's create a slider. To create an input control for the number of Monte Carlo runs, right click on the layout and select System, Input Parameters, Analyzer. With the input controls created, let's create our output graphs. For this tutorial, we will need separate graphs for both the autotrophic maximum specific growth rate in the CSTR and the free and ionized ammonia in the plant's effluent. To create the autotrophic maximum specific growth rate graph, right-click on the CSTR and select Output Variables, Input Parameters, Kinetic. To create the free and ionized ammonia graph, right-click on the effluent stream of the secondary clarifier and select Output Variables, State Variables. Next, label and auto-arrange both of the graphs. With both of our graphs labeled, let's change the graph types to probabilistic Monte Carlo. This graph type will plot a histogram of our Monte Carlo results. 
With the Monte Carlo graph type selected, you will notice a number of additional options, such as number of bins and target, will appear on the panel. Target specifies a target value for this variable, in this case, the concentration of free and ionized ammonia. The greater than and less than button beside the target value allows you to specify whether you are interested in the percentage of runs that are greater than or less than the target value. The number of bins specifies the number of bins to be used in the histogram. For the free and ionized ammonia graph, set the target value to 10 and the number of bins to 20. With the bins and target set, set both axes to auto scale. For the autotrophic maximum specific growth rate, set the graph type to Monte Carlo and auto scale both axes. Now it's time to run our first steady state Monte Carlo analysis. Click on the arrow beside the Analyze button and select Monte Carlo from the list. Click on the Analyze button to put GPSX into Analyze mode. To ensure that you are in the correct mode, the bottom right hand corner of the GPSX window should display Mode Analyze Monte Carlo. Once you are in Analyze mode, ensure that Steady State is checked and run the simulation. When the simulation completes, you should see the autotrophic maximum specific growth rate following the normal distribution that was defined. Each bar in the free and ionized ammonia graph displays the probability of that specific concentration range occurring. The blue line represents the target concentration that we set earlier. Try rerunning the simulation, but this time vary the number of runs and see how the number of runs impacts the accuracy. A small number of runs will not be sufficient to find an accurate result, while increasing the number of runs will increase the accuracy of the Monte Carlo results. Now that we've conducted a Monte Carlo analysis on a single variable, let's use two variables this time. Place the alpha factor for the CSTR on an input control tab. Set its control type to Analyze Monte Carlo and its distribution to uniform. Set the range of the alpha factor to 0 0.4 to 0 0.7. With our second Monte Carlo variable in place, place the alpha factor and DO of the CSTR on separate graphs on a new output tab. To create the alpha factor graph, right click on the CSTR and select Output Variables, Input Parameters, Operational, and click on the Diffused Aerations More button. Drag the alpha factor Find Bubble onto a new output tab. DO can be found by right clicking on the CSTR and selecting Output Variables, State Variables. Label and auto arrange the two graphs. Set both graph types to probabilistic Monte Carlo and auto scale all the axes. Set the number of bins to be displayed on the DO graph to 20. Finally, let's set the number of Monte Carlo runs to 2000 and run the simulation. Both the alpha factor and the autotrophic maximum specific growth rate will be assigned random values falling within the defined ranges and conforming to the probability distributions that have been assigned to them. Variables like the alpha factor and maximum specific growth rate cannot be known in advance and may fluctuate within a known range. Monte Carlo analysis allows us to examine the likelihood of different plant behaviors given only these variables range and distribution. The free and ionized ammonia and DO graphs produced show us the probability of a given DO or ammonia concentration occurring given the ranges and probabilities we've defined for our two variables.
Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in information on our other software products such as CapNetworks for preliminary design and costing, ToxChem for industrial wastewater treatment modeling, or WattPro for drinking water treatment modeling, you can visit our website at www.hydromantis.com for further information.